yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the In the Fire podcast. podcast. We appreciate you guys tuning in, whether you're listening on Spotify, iTunes, or watching us on YouTube. Welcome back, family. But if you want to be a part of the In the Fire family, the, the real family. Ooh. I mean, you guys are family, but like, you know, it's like a, the deep family, the intimate family. Intimate family. Check out the Patreon down in the description. It is an awesome opportunity for us to connect with you guys. For you guys to be a part of a, a community, for you guys to find some awesome, God-fearing people to be surrounded by, prayer time, Bible reading time, accountability, all that beautiful stuff, check it out down in the description. Check it we out. love you guys. And we appreciate you guys that are already on there. Yeah. Y- y'all know who you are. Yo, for real. You guys we know who you. you are, yeah. But um, you were sharing with me a little story, a little thing you had this morning. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll, share sh- with the I'll, sh- I'll share with you guys as well. Some encouragement. So this morning, um, uh, it was a little early. I woke up. I was like, but like half asleep, you know, half half awake type of thing. It was raining really hard. I heard the rain outside in my room. And, you know, it was like, again, half asleep, half awake. And in this moment when I woke up, like, I felt like this, this over, like, I don't know, this is joy and peace. Mm-hmm. Like, I, that's the best way I can describe it. Like, joy and peace, like, kind of just like together, you know? And I felt it really strongly. And it was it was it was insane. But like, you know, I was half awake, half asleep. So I think I went back to sleep. Mm. And then I woke up like later, like maybe one hour, two hours later. And then I wake up, I'm like, yo, what was that? But mm. like the thing that like, you know, kind of I think either I said it to myself or I heard it was like, everything's gonna be okay. Wow. And like I heard that and that was just like Okay. That's that's an, it was and I don't know if somebody's praying for me right now. I don't know if somebody's praying is. for me. 100% but, is. you know, that was something that happened this morning, and that's beautiful. That was pretty. It was pretty. It was. It was really nice. Like, I, I, I would imagine just, that's really nice. Just God, just I don't know, giving, just helping me out a little bit, maybe. You know, God giving me some grace. But that was that's that that was really interesting. That's beautiful. a lot of joy, a lot of. It's like a, I feel like you needed like, that. You know, of almost. You know, if I, I wish I could have stayed awake in that moment, yeah, I yeah. would have felt crazy. But I only felt it for like ah, five mm. seconds, and I went back to sleep. But it was like an overwhelming, like just. So you sure. you weren't feeling that when you woke up again? No, I mean I just remembered it. Like I didn't I didn't like feel, but of course I, it, it stuck with me. You know what I mean? It's right, like, right. I up, like, ugh. like I woke up and I was like, yo, what just happened? Yeah. Well, I, I would imagine you you need that right now, especially with your broken phone. You know? Yeah. yeah. Because of my broken phone. Yeah. So Lots of my I, I mean, I know you guys can't see it, but uh, Lewis's phone is completely shattered. Half of his screen you don't, doesn't you don't work. Have to tell people I, this. Why? That's fine. I think it's important for them is to know. Important? You can tell a lot about a person depending on their phone. No, you can't. Yeah, you can. No, depending you can. on how clean it is and how well taken care of it, you can tell a lot about a person. So what are you trying to say here? That that your phone is completely shattered. Half the screen doesn't work. And and when <laughs> yeah, when you when you turn it on, can't see anything. And it types on its own when you pull up the in the fire notes. <laughs> exactly. You need to relax, bro. No. I don't know why you put my spot like this. I didn't do anything to deserve this. And, and you have a green alien case on. <laughs> what about the alien What case? are your feelings towards aliens? Nah, that's a whole deep conversation. I mean, that's a whole other conversation. against the Bible about it. Oh, oh. No, no, no. Relax. No, no, no. Relax. It doesn't say anything about aliens. Oh. Anyways. That's crazy. Hey. Hey. You believe, alien, you believe in aliens? I don't know what to tell you. So, moral of the story for In the Fire today is take care of your phones. Sure. But... <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Today, we have a beautiful topic. We do have a beautiful You're going to want to stay till the end. You're going to want to apply a lot of this stuff to your daily faith journey. Speaking of faith, what are we talking about today, Luis Lopez? <sighs> Man, having just having faith in God. You know, like, why mm. do we need faith? Why do we need to believe in what we can't see? Like, why faith? Why do we need mm. faith? What's important about it? You know, the, the uh-huh. importance of it. What is I, it about? I won't believe till I see it. Yeah. How many times have we heard that? Can we all raise our hands right now? How many times have we heard that before? I've heard it. I've, lot, I've heard it a lot. I think everybody's heard it. I'm not going to. I've said it. I've said it about different things. Not about God, but about different things. I won't believe it till I see it. Oh, oh. Oh. But people out there saying that about God. People saying, till God comes down from the heavens, yep. says my name, and slaps me in the face, I'm not going to believe in God. What? Till science proves exactly who God is and how God is, I, I, I won't believe in God. God's not real. Ouch. And then for believers, it might not be the existence of God, but for us, sometimes it's like, 
Is he, if, is he who he says he is? If I don't see that provision, mm. is he really looking out for me? If I don't see this person get healed. If he doesn't do it the way I see it, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop doing it, the whole, the whole right. thing. Is that you? I've been praying for this person in my family to get healed. Yeah. If they don't get healed, does God really care about me? Mm. If I don't see that provision, does God really care about me? How come I've been following in the faith and I've been feeling really down and, and depressed and, and mm. all this stuff is happening to me? If I'm really a child of God, why is all this happening to me? I don't see it. I don't see all these promises that God has given us in the Bible. I don't see them happening for my life. Mm. I won't have the faith or I won't believe it till I see it. Man. Who else said that in the Bible? Thomas. Mr. Thomas. Doubting Thomas. How sad is it that he got that name for the rest of eternity? <laughs> he, he has that, bro. <laughs> it's, he has to wear it. Has to wear it proudly. All I'm like, all I'm hoping for is that he's not getting bullied up in heaven for it. Bro, come on now. Like, imagine all the disciples like laughing about it, making fun of him. Like, yo, yo, yo you're doubting Thomas. No, like, he yeah, he, they definitely they're having like a that. laugh. They're just sitting at the nah. dinner table. Like, yo, you're doubting they, Thomas. Yo, says that and, and then Jesus is like, hey, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then they start making fun of Peter, like, yo, but you denied three times. Yo, what? Yo. What? And then Jesus is like, where was El Sin? <laughs> the first, like, okay, sorry, Jesus. Okay, right, sorry, right. Jesus. Sorry, Jesus. If you, guys, if you guys can speak, please, but if you guys have done oh. something before, yeah, I can speak. <laughs> and everybody's like, all right, sorry, sorry. Nah, but poor Thomas, poor Thomas. But nonetheless. Yeah. Well, you know, first off, you know, the reason for faith, or what is it, right? We, mm. we, um, there's a lot of different definitions of faith and... Well, what is faith? Oh, yeah, you were just about yeah, to talk like, about it. Know, what, what is faith? Like, what is faith exactly, right? So, of course, you, you probably have it, like, the, there's a definition of faith in the Bible, right? Okay. You search up Google, like, it has its own definition. Okay. But the Bible does have uh, its definition of what faith is. Okay. Um, I can read or you can read. I know you probably have. Do you have it? Or? What is it? Hebrews 11. Uh -huh, aha, my boy. Of course, we think course. It, we think it alike. Of course. Got it. Uh, Hebrew. I mean, this whole chapter is phenomenal. If you oh my read gosh. the whole I, chapter, I was, I was seeing the rest of it. I was like, yo, yo, like this is this is the episode. Good. Today. Like, I'm about to say, let me just okay. read. All right, just read. All right, it's titled "Great." This is NLT. Great examples of faith. Faith shows the reality of what we hope for. Hmm. It is the evidence of things we cannot see. Through their faith, the people in days of old earned a good reputation. Oh, that's one and two. Sorry. Yeah. Now, I, I have a different version here. I think it's the ESV it. version. Okay. Uh, it's now faith is the is confidence in what we hope for mm. and assurance about what we do not see. Mm. So there's a lot, right? There's a lot there about this faith. Is, it's the confidence in what we hope for, right? Mm. It's like confidence that, that God says who he is, mm. right? That we read about him, that he's compassionate, he's loving, he's just, he's right, he's perfect, he's all these yeah. things. It's our confidence in that or when mm. you know when when with anything in the bible when you know when jesus says you know don't do this you know and then we have to have confidence that like that's what's best you know like whatever like, the, mm -hmm. like you know when jesus says don't do this don't you know flee from sexual immorality and you know, don't hate your brother you know forgive and it's like we see what what, what jesus wants us to do yeah and it's like we, of course we have our own desires but it's like faith is reading that and then being like okay this is actually better for me yeah so I have to have confidence that this is better for me than what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And so faith requires that, right? Faith faith is what makes you not go to the party, right? Mm -hmm. Faith is what makes you not go to that person's house, right? Like that's what faith is, yeah. is believing that whatever God said about this or whatever God said about that, mm -hmm. that's what's better, okay. right? And believing in what and, and, and who he is, that he is who he says he is, that he is amazing, that he is godly, right? We think about different examples of faith. When you get into a car, right, and you're in the passenger seat, yeah. like you're putting faith in that driver, that he's gonna bring mm -hmm. you to point A to point B safely. You're not gonna you're not gonna freaking hit a tree, yeah. right? Or you go on a plane, right? A lot of us just goes to stroll Yo. onto a, a lot of us stroll onto a plane, you know, and we don't think about the magnitude of how like intense, like yo, that mm -hmm. pilot, all those people in that plane. You're putting a lot of faith that that pilot is gonna bring you from point A to point B safely. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of faith. Yes, it is. So you put faith in that, right? Other people, uh, we put faith put faith in money. You know, that money mm -hmm. gives what we really want. That mm -hmm. joy that, that, that we know, so a verse that says, you know, a person who trusts in their money, you know, nothing good. Yeah. You know, people trust in so many, have faith in so many different things. Yeah. And so what I think, when I think about it, it's like, man, we put our faith in our, you know, the confidence, what we hope for that, you know, we are putting our confidence in that pilot because we hope that he will bring yeah. us there. 
confidence in that in that drive that he will bring us where we have to be confidence in, in the money confidence in the per in people mm. you know a lot, a lot of us put faith in people right. that we you know we're being we're putting our confidence in that person because we hope that they will give us joy that they will give us life yeah. right? a lot of us put a lot of a lot of faith and in, in, in emphasis on somebody and then when they when they break that expectation we we feel we left we're left hurt right yeah there's so With many things lack can, of faith lack of Fa faith, yeah. faith the thing is like Faith sounds like a very religious word, but mm. it's it's a it's a genuine everyday type of word. Mm. Everything you just described is talking about um, faith. Yeah, you have faith in something. Now, it's not necessarily bad to have faith that this plane is going to get you to mm. another another destination safely, yeah. like whatever. The thing is, faith is what drives us. It's what allows us to walk without fear. Because mm. if you had zero faith on in the plane. You or would, for you to get there safely, you, get you would it. never get on yeah. the plane. But because you have even some sort of, I know some of you guys are like, dude, I'm terrified of planes. <laughs> but yeah, but because you've seen that, like, okay, out of uh, I don't I don't know the statistics, but out of ten thousand planes, only one yeah. got into an accident. Whatever, you're like, you know what? Like, I have I have faith enough for me to get on this plane and enjoy, you know, my vacation or whatever it is. But mm. faith drives us, right? Yeah. If you have somebody. If you have a stranger come up to you and say, can I, Louis, can I borrow $10,000? I promise you I'm going to pay them back. How would you feel? Would you give them the $10,000? I mean, who is it? You know what I mean? No, it's a complete stranger. They oh, just yeah. walked up I to you. I don't know. No? Okay. You have a friend that asked you the same thing, but you've, you've lended him money before and he's never, ever paid you back. And this time he's asking for 10 grand. I don't think so. No. Okay, now you have a friend that has paid you every dime and even more. Mm. And he's like, Louis, I'm going through a hard time. Can I borrow 10,000? I promise you I'll pay you back. I will leave more choice, yeah. Yeah. I would say, yeah. Now, faith relies on who God is mm. so that we can hope for and have faith for the future. Now, for you to have faith in God, you need to look at his track record. That's why we have faith in God. Because of what he's done for us, what he's done for the people around us, what he's done in the past, how he is, who he is, what he says, and how he fulfills his promises. Hmm. For us believers, we know God is a man, not a man. God is a, a, God of his word. a God of his word. He does not go back on it. He does not change. He doesn't have feelings where he's like, you know what? I'm feeling this way. I'm feeling this nope. way today. Like, uh-uh. What no, he said I'm, happens. I'm what he said happens. He doesn't change. And so we look at that and it's like, no, I, I have faith in God. Yeah. Now, if you truly had faith that he wants was best for you, you wouldn't question his his decisions for your life. Hmm. And that's the thing. Like, I'm not saying that in a, in a conviction type of way. It's more of like, that's what we want to achieve. Mm. Right? We're on an ever, never ending um, path towards... A perfection like peak faith I peak guess. faith because if you had peak faith my boy like dude you're doing I, anything you know, i was thinking about that man I was you like, are like gonna you know, do anything you, you, you envision like a like a like a level bar right and you see like yeah. faith is right here mm -hmm. and like you go through something intense and god makes a way your faith goes like boop you know like a little mm -hmm, more mm -hmm. and then something else happens and like god shows through like crazy right. it's like yo Boop, boop, like you know more faith yeah, yeah, in, yeah. in that in that in that meter and it's like man like that that's why you know again like when james when they say have, have be joyful when you go mm -hmm. through hard times because then you're gonna have more faith and like or you know like like we talked about before in the, in the chosen when yeah. jesus is like how do you guys not get it yet like you know he will provide always a thousand five fees of five thousand yeah. stops the storm like that that level of faith of like no matter what's going on mm -hmm. what i'm doing what the situation looks like he will provide and he will be good yeah yeah it's it's that continuous it's a trust yeah faith means it is it's kind of like another word for trust your trust in god but the thing is like we've heard this a million times mm. we've heard had faith have faith in god trust god have faith in god at this point some of us roll our eyes like bro i know like i yeah, know yeah. have faith in god i know but this episode is about going deeper in that because once again if we get to that peak faith and we won't because that is a perfection faith. Yeah. And if you were able to do that, you would go around telling paralyzed people to get up and walk. Mm. Do we have that kind of faith? 
Listen, man, I wish I could sit here and tell you guys, yo, I'm about to go out and tell this man that has never walked in his life to get up and walk. I wish. I really wish I had that kind of faith. Hmm. But I don't. I don't. And I, I, I want one day to make, to like be able to get even close to that level of faith. Or like that Simon and Peter, you know, going through like the little gate and then they're just like, you know, gold, Dude, so, gold and silver I do not have, but in the name of Jesus, get up and walk, pick up your mat and like the yeah. guy gets up and he's so happy. The thing is like, dude, you read the Bible and you read these stories of all these heroic yeah. people in the faith. And sometimes we don't really take in the level of faith some of these people had. Yeah. They don't just get called heroes of faith just because they lived in a time period. Mm. Bro, people, millions of people lived back then too. Millions of people followed God too. These men and women are in this Bible for a reason. Mm. And they are called heroes of the faith for a reason. If we put ourselves in the, their shoes, I listen, I'm speaking for myself. I don't know about you guys, but I couldn't do half the stuff these people do. No shot. These disciples, yes, they saw Jesus. But I'm telling you, if you guys lived with the Jesus, situation, yeah. you still, you still, because it's just, you can't, dude. It's Some of these, yeah. these men, the disciples, they all died in horrific ways, horrible ways. But why did they do that? Their faith, man. Their faith. Why were they able Why to, was Paul what, rejoicing when he was in prison in shackles, man? Why? Because he why? knew. He knew. Like, he was like, I'm doing this right now, but this is only temporary. I'm going to heaven after this. That's the type of, like, that's the type of time he was on. You put a lot of us in that same situation, that bar you were talking about with the faith, instant drop. God, what am I doing here? Why is this happening to me? How am I going to get out of this? How are you possibly going to get me out of this? Him rejoicing? Do you know what that means? He was celebrating. Man got thrown in prison. Not just that. I mean, the countless things that they did to him. And he's like... He's thrown out of towns, man. He was thrown out of towns. And not to mention the reward he's talking about is the complete unseen. It's mm. not a treasure that you will receive in your lifetime. He's, that's not what Paul Ooh. was talking about. And the Bible says that the what oh what's the verse that like you know uh to, to the to the people the you know the power of god seems so foolish yeah god just seems so foolish but we but we know it's actually god's power at work right so basically like you know the way paul lived and like how they all lived you know like seeing you know look from that out we're looking in right and we see how paul did stuff how paul went to different towns did yeah. this did that spoke that he got thrown out mm -hmm. kept on doing it like kept on going he would get you know people would throw rocks at him leaving him half dead he would still go up, do the same thing, go to different towns, go to, cross the, the, you know, like the river or whatever, like go somewhere else, do the same thing. Yeah. He would put, put in jail, but then he would be happy and then he would like feel joy. But the, like all this different stuff from that outward looking in, we would think he's crazy. Mm. Like, what are you doing this for, bro? Like, <laughs> you're like, this is like weird, man. You're like getting yeah. tortured and beaten, and put in jail for all this. Weird. Like, this is weird. Yeah. Like all, we, all you had this, all you had to do was be quiet for, this is how I think about it sometimes. Like, dude, you could have just been quiet for a little bit just to let them calm down and then you could go back to preaching. Mm. He'd slap me in my face instantly. He'd be like, bro, what's wrong with you? And then like in jail, but then, you know, things like in jail, right? When like the, the whole jail cell, oh, I think it was somebody else. I think it was somebody else. But like, just, they just, you know, it just looks foolish the way Paul did stuff. But then we know like that's just God's power at work. Mm -hmm. You know, if, like, and we know for a fact how Paul, Paul was like Paul was like that guy like he had that faith he was at that level you know of faith and believing in God always and in all situations being content in every single situation whether he was hungry or whether he was full whether he was like clothed or not or whatever the situation was like he was content in the situation yeah no matter how much money he had or whatever was going on he was content because he knew that God got him which was one of the promises that God will provide every and will provide your every need in Christ Jesus and he had that in his mind he knew wherever he went what he, whatever he was doing God got him that level of faith that he had was insane and like we know and like we know you know like life with god again having that faith that he is who he is the promises he has that we'll get to that you know of like all the yeah. promises there's over three thousand promises in the bible that god gives us mm. and we know who god is 
all those promises stand forever and will be fulfilled forever until the end. Of, not even the, yeah, whenever the end to is eternity. Is, yeah, to eternity. Like his promises will stand always, always, always. So the promises of of he he will provide your every need. The promise of he will be with you. He will guide you. The promise of he will give you a rich and satisfying life. The promises of 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 everything he promises us like they they are fulfilled they are true and they are they are everlasting yeah. they are for they are for eternity that's his promises yeah. for us i just i just had this awesome revelation while you were speaking there was a while back in an episode where we talked about um the building block of any strong friendship or mm -hmm. relationship is trust mm -hmm. and as you were speaking i asked myself he was content in every circumstance to what he said it's in the bible wouldn't we want to get to that point don't we want to be able to be content in everything and be grateful and thankful how do we get there what was the source obviously it was god but his faith in god mm. and i said before faith is a trust in god right yeah so we say we say faith is not blind Godly faith exemplifies trust. Hmm. So godly faith exemplifies trust. And trust is, is the foundation and the source of, of a good, strong friendship and relationship. Hmm. So if you want to be content in everything that you do, let's dig a little deep, right? Like It's not like, okay, how can I be content in everything that I do? No, it's how can I have the faith to trust God mm. in everything that happens? That's crazy. I like that change. And as a result, you will have that content that you were looking for, mm. that peace and that joy you were looking for. Everything that we are looking for yeah. falls back to a, how much faith, how much trust do you have in God? It's like that verse, the confidence in what we hope for. You you know you, yeah. you can you go into that thing because you hope for what what it, what you want what you feel you need, but God knows that already, you know. And I, I was yeah. just thinking about this like, you know, back again back in the Garden of Eden, God was just with with Adam and mm. God was with and, and and he he was you know his his presence was there right yeah. he was with them, and then, uh in in when the Israelites left Egypt and you know and they and they they made the tabernacle and they made everything for God to be and reside with them the same way god resided with adam and eve you know they made the tabernacle so that god could reside with them mm. and so like you, you see like the main thing that god wants is to be with us yeah and and to be our god and to reside with us for his presence to be always with us like he that's all he he made us for like you know we're made to worship him we're, we're made to be with god but of course because of our sin we broke that but mm. we're made to be with him yeah we're made to and so this faith, like this faith is so, you know, because it's, like you said, authenticity, friendship, like, you know, we, we have that, we always say that thing of like, if, uh, you know, I'll believe when I see it, when God comes down, but how, how authentic, how real, how, how much, how, yeah, how, how authentic, mm -hmm. how honest would that love for, for him be? Right. If, if he just came down and, and, you know, on all of his like, you know, glory, glory and all yeah, this yeah. stuff, you know, like the one day that Jesus comes back, every, you know, every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Of course he will. Because you will, you will. Yeah. But like, what heart do you want to have when that happens? Mm. You know, every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Amen. Everyone, when Jesus comes back, every single person on this earth, what heart do you want in that moment? Because what if you said to him at, at that moment, I won't believe it until I see he comes down. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, snap. He came down. Yeah. But that's like, that's when judgment happens. Hmm. You know, he would judge every single thing we do. Like, like, where do you want to be in that moment? I mean, Jesus responded that to Thomas. He said, you believe because you've seen. Blessed are those who have faith and have not seen. Yeah. Because he knows that we're going to, there's, there's going to, how crazy that's, that's is how it's going to be. When he goes, you know, when he goes to heaven, like, we're going we're gonna to be believing, we're going to be walking by faith, not by sight. That's yeah. how it's going to be. That's how it's going to be. But the thing is, I don't, that's, that's crazy because Thomas saw it. Thomas put his fingers in his yeah. wounds. He says, his now, wrist, yeah. now you believe. I mean, at that point, you have to, you have to, 
But he says, blessed are those who haven't seen and still believe. That's us. And you, we are blessed, believe me. That's us. God has blessed us more than you you guys know. Mm-hmm. And I know for a fact God has blessed you guys more than you, you guys know. Yeah. So we've talked about faith and how it's the source and what drives us. How do we increase that faith? I'll start us off. I talked about how faith is looking at who God is. Mm-hmm. So for you to increase your faith, increase your understanding of God's love for you. That's good. How do I know my mom would take a bullet for me? Because I know how much she loves me. Hmm. And in difficult situations in your life, do we truly remember how much God loves us? We often forget, so we have to be reminded. Because if we truly, if we truly knew God's love for us, the, the extent of it, and we would never ever be able to, because it's just so freaking eternal that we would never be able to fully grasp God's love for us. It's not even in our human capacity to be able to understand God's love. Mm. But if we were able to understand it slightly more, the one who created all of the universe, the one who knows every hair on your head, the one who formed you in the womb, knew you were going to be Lewis before he even created the earth. That same God loves you and we, and we say, God, how am I going to pay this bill this month? God, I don't, I don't know if I'm going down the right path. I don't know if this. I don't know if that. And we worry and we get anxious. Once again, this is not conviction. We're human. Mm. And like you said, we forget. We need to be reminded. We need to be reminded, yeah. Even <clears throat> the, the people with so much faith, they still need to be reminded Because if we understood God's love for us, would we ever be worried about anything? And that's the secret that Paul found in that jail. That's how he was able to rejoice. It wasn't a pretend. It wasn't a, oh, I I know this is what I have to do. Some of us might feel that way where it's like the Bible says rejoice in all situations. When we get into something hard, we're like, oh, I'm supposed to be rejoicing right now. I don't feel like it, but it says that I should. But he wasn't doing that out of, I know I should. He was doing it out of an actual heart condition. Mm. Paul was rejoicing because that's what he felt like doing. That's what he, he was like, whoa, this is so cool. This is a moment of, all right, maybe not this is so cool, but it was a moment of rejoicing because it's like, dang, I just got another treasure in heaven. I just got more people to come to the faith. Or he didn't even, listen, oh my goodness. Paul probably didn't even understand the extent of what God was doing in his life, but that's how much faith he had in God to know, I don't need you to tell me the whole game plan. Paul had no idea that thousands of years later, we would be talking about him right now. Hmm. Paul had no idea that thousands of years later, millions and millions of people worldwide, worldwide, in that moment, he was preaching to a small town. But to know that his time in prison was one day going to impact millions and millions of people for history around the whole world, he didn't know. God did. God knew. And he knew that God knew. That's why he was rejoicing. Can you believe that? Imagine, man. Like, he didn't have to know. We sit here sometimes and we complain and you're like, I don't know where God is taking me. Are you supposed to know? Mm. Does it matter? Because if you had trust in him, you wouldn't be asking. When I, when I, used, to, when I used to be a little mm. kid, and, I used to, and my dad used to drive us everywhere, never did I ask him for directions or anything. Never did I say, are we going the right way? I never. 
Bro, I was a little kid. Yeah. I was not going to doubt my dad. My dad, to me, in my eyes, was the man that was going to get me to the, my destination safely. The man mm -hmm. of the house. He was going to take care of the family and he was going to get us there safely. Never did I question him like, are we going the right way? I didn't need to know. I didn't. Because I had faith in him. Mm, beautiful. So for some of us, asking for the game plan is kind of like asking for us to be able to see it. Saying, I won't believe till I see it. But that's what faith is. Faith in something that you can't see. Yeah. You're not, sometimes you're, God doesn't want you or need you to know where you're going and how you're going and how you're going to do this and how you're going to get out of this and how you're going to solve this. All he's saying to you is, have faith. Trust me. Hmm. I know you don't see it right now. I know you don't. But trust me. It was the same thing with Abraham. We've talked about Abraham um, on, this, on this podcast before. To tell this man to leave his hometown. Yeah. This man is old, bro. Go change your entire life. Go to a, a land that you have no idea what it's about, why you're even going. You, you have zero clue. You're completely in the clouds. He went. Why? Why did he go? What caused him to be like, I'm going to go? God told me to go. I'm going to go. Hmm. Imagine that conversation with your wife. Hey, babe. So. You got to go to a whole different place. And listen, I'm not crazy. I need you to pack your I'm stuff. Crazy. We're leaving. We're leaving. <laughs> We're going somewhere. Wait, why? Because God told because me. God told me to. <laughs> Wait, what is he going to do? I'm not sure, actually. He's going to make, like, you know, large a lot of descendants. Wait, where are we going? I, I don't know. Don't know. Wait, how are we going to like pay for all this stuff and where are we going to stay? Oh, honestly, I have no clue. But God told me. And I know he's going to take care of us, so I don't have anything to worry about. And, and Abraham believed God and <sighs> God counted him as righteous. Man. Come on. That's why if you if I encourage everybody after this to read Hebrews cuz right mm. after this like a, a, a Hebrew 11, this like he just goes off and he's just like, you know, Abraham had faith. He left his whole entire Yeah you know, home country to go and, and do what God told him to do. And he's, he just names a bunch of people. Yeah. And one of them was Abraham. Wow. Abraham left. He left and, and did what God told him to do. Yeah. That's faith. That is faith. That's faith right there. So how do we increase our faith? No more of Man. God, more of his love for you. And how yeah. do we do that? And, and, I would, and I would say just... You read your Bible. Read your Bible and, and, and just know his promises. Like, yeah. like and we need to know it. Like, go to his promises, what he has promised. Like, he's promised that he will give us rest. Which is in the Bible. Which is in the Bible. Like, come all who are weary and heavy burdened, <sighs> and I will give you rest. I, I know for a fact so many people got goosebumps from that because they need it. That verse right there. How many of us are tired and, and, and weary and, and exhausted and we go to sleep, we wake up, we're still tired. Like... Jesus is like he got Jesus promises you go to him mm. he will give you rest come all who are weary and heavy and who carry heavy burdens yeah. and I will give you rest like that's a promise another promise that I spoke about before like and and when Paul says he, he will supply all your needs in Christ Jesus mm. seek first the kingdom of God and then all of these things will be added onto you all these things would be added onto you the promise of provision when he says, do not, you know, when, when, when Jesus says like, you know, why are you worrying about what you're going to eat? What are you going to wear? You know, like the crows get fed. They, how they much get more fed. They don't, they don't work a nine to five and the crows get, they, they get food. <laughs> and how much more important are you than I'm a more. bird? Like promises like that. Then you read it and you're like, oh, God says that he'll give me rest. Father, I pray. For, and then, and then also says in the Bible, like asking and you know, that you will what, like seeking you will find yeah. knock and the door will be open to you. Mm. Like ask, pray. Come on. Promises that when you, he's promising that he will answer prayers. Mm. Promises that he will give you rest. Promises that he will supply all your needs. Like what? What else? The promises of comfort. He will comfort you in moments. Yeah. Promises to, to lead you and always be with you. He says, "I will never leave you nor forsake you." Be be courageous. Wow. Promises that he will never leave you. People have left you before. God will not. 
promises like that wow. like oh, so many and like, like i said there's wow. like there's three thousand i read there's three thousand promises in the bible all of that stands <laughs> true stands true that's incredible for, for eternity so wow. get to know those promises get to know them and put your faith in them because like i said god is 100 percent perfect he is holy set apart amazing he is not like people he doesn't change his mind he doesn't you know he's not like a man he doesn't lie everything he says is true 100 percent because he is god almighty hmm. he's perfect perfection we we expect perfection from people and then they always let us down god is perfect before today and forever do you want to trust something else or do you want to trust him hmm do you want to put your faith in money or him? Do you want to put your faith in money or the God who made money? Do you want to put your faith in people or the God who made people? Come on. Like that is who you put your faith in. And he will not leave you disappointed. That's 100%. Beautiful. We, we, me, I think me and Danny will tell you a million percent. You will not mm -mm. be disappointed when you put your faith in him. You will not. Wow. Everything you needed, everything you need, everything you will need, he will provide for it. Wow. Always. For eternity, that's who you're putting your. You're not putting in some random guy. You're putting your faith in the one who made you and the one who knows you, who formed you in your mother's womb, who knew your name before you were even born. That is who you're putting your faith in. Mm. That's who he is. How crazy is that? It's like why would you, why would you put your faith in something else? But then we can be foolish. Yeah. It's it's really just bizarre to me that he's given us the key to everything which is faith and he lets us know about that and this is an encouragement for everybody wherever season you're in whatever season you're wherever in whatever you're, at, you're going if, if through if you're still thinking about following him or not if you have been mm -hmm. following him for a while if you just started following him this faith is going to take you to a whole different yeah. level and if you're going through stuff, pray to God. Say, God, help me have more faith. Mm. Not this is actually not even if you're going through something. I want all of you, including us two, tonight when we yeah. go to bed and we're gonna go pray and we say, God, increase my faith. Help me have more faith. I want to trust you in everything. I want to trust that when you speak, it'll happen. And there's a difference between hearing that and knowing that. Mm. We hear that and we read it, but then why do we worry? Listen, man, I've, I've had countless times, countless times that God has proven himself to me. Mm. and yet sometimes i still doubt him i still worry it's our fallen nature yeah financially i was stuck i was stressing i was frustrated tell me how i got a, a thousand dollar check randomly that day bro come on i literally i just looked up and i was like god what what? Like, all, I feel like all I could hear was, I told you I got you. Why didn't you trust me when I told you that before? And it's not even, and it's not even about the thousand, thousand dollar check. It's about everything else. Yeah. Where he's like, I told you I had you. When have I let you down before? I ask your, I, I, I want you to ask yourself that. When has God let you down before? He hasn't. So why is he going to start now? He's not. Because we trust in his greater plan. We, we should be like Paul where we're like, God, I'm, I, I know you think in an eternal time frame. I don't. And that's the reason why we could never hit that full peak of faith. In order to do that, we'd, be, we'd have to be able to see an eternal timeline and we can't. Mm. Once again, Paul had no clue, man. Paul was just living his life just like we are right now. Paul was just 
not chilling, but Paul was going through it. But I don't think he expected to have a historical impact. Thousands, do you know what thousands of years later is in the most famous book on this planet? Him. If I told you that was you, if I told you that your life right now was going to be written down in a book and people would be studying it, talking about it every day, praying about it, using you as an example for thousands of years for all of history, what would you say to me? What? You'd laugh in my face. You'd be like, bro, stop, bro, stop. Because nobody would believe that. And the cool Paul thing didn't is he, he didn't even... He doesn't even care about that. He didn't. He didn't even care about this. He didn't. He just cared about doing what God wanted him to do because he had that much faith. And he why did he want to? And that's the thing. Like, God, that's why God used him because this man had faith. He's like, I, I can build a solid foundation here because this man has faith in me. Hmm. I'm going to do that here. Oh, come on. We all want to be like them. We all want to have that level of faith. How many of us can say, if God told you, sacrifice your only son that I had promised you for years? Oh, come on. Not Bro, if any, if any of you said yes, you're lying. You're lying. This man did it. How? Because of his faith in God. He said, if, if, if I do this, I have enough faith in God that he will bring him back. <sighs> Dude, come on. To, ri to, to rise a whole man from the dead? Yeah, God did that too. With Jesus. Come on. Crazy. He literally did everything, bro. Come Crazy. on. He's literally... G God cannot prove to you anymore. Just read the Bible. What you looking for? We got what you looking for. I, I feel like, yo, it's like. Stop. He, There's no way you just he, did that. He has what you're looking for. I, I, I had to say it, bro. It's like, bro, yeah. like, where are you going? Mm. What are you putting your faith in? Is it God? No. That's beautiful. If it's not God, then you don't want to put your faith in it. Mm -mm. Put your faith in the one who really knows, who wow. has done it all, who has a track record of just pure love, yeah. who you can see, oh, God did that with him. Oh, he can do it with me. Yeah. He provided for him. He can provide for me. Oh, he got it. He forgave him. He's gonna forgive me. Mm -hmm. And listen, pretty faith in him, man. If you do not have a relationship with God yet, this is your opportunity. Wherever you are, whatever you're yeah. doing, just pray. God, I accept you. As my Lord and Savior, Jesus, I believe in you. And I'm struggling with this. This mm -hmm. may be hard for me because I don't see you. But help me have that faith. Show me. Show me. Show me who you are. Pray that. It's okay to pray that. It's okay to say, God... If you're up there, if you're not, I'm not sure. I don't know. Is there a man with a beard up there on a throne, on a gold throne? Is that really how it is? <laughs> but, God, a lot of people are talking about you. And they say you're loving. They say you're kind. They say My you're a, always talk about a you. God of your word. Show me. Show me because I want to believe in you too. <sighs> Dude. Crazy. That's so powerful. So powerful. So powerful. And it doesn't, it doesn't hurt to say that. For The thing is, for you to be able to get to that level of saying that, you, you have to be at a certain level of open-mindedness. Yeah. And that's what we're asking for some of you today. Mm. Just the slightest bit of an open heart. It's good. It's good. And God can work with that. It's really good. God can work with that. That's all that's all we have to say about faith today. I really hope this episode was an episode really of encouragement. Man, Honestly, man. I think it was for us too. I think it's something that we really needed to talk about and I think it was it was a beautiful conversation about faith. And uh now we are all on that journey of striving to yeah. peak our faith, to just keep going, to keep raising our faith, that little bar of faith, keep raising it up. 
because soon enough, because in this life you will have troubles and when they come, I want to see us rejoicing in it. Mm. Oh, beautiful. But thank you guys for tuning yeah. in. We appreciate you guys a lot. We love you. And uh, thank you for staying till the end. And um, we'll see you guys for the next episode. Check out the Patreon. Peace out, everybody. Comment and like. Comment and like.